Seems I've had like terrible luck with spiders lately. I actually still play a game called Darkest Dungeon. Um, I played it on the channel a few times. It was a bit too much for me to get into. Admittedly, I'd give it another try if, for the sake of the mods, I've heard about it. You got like a you can make Marvel units instead of the warriors that are there. The problem is like I can't really get through the last dungeon, and that pisses me off majorly. So, yeah. But I went against like a group of four spiders, and despite being all level four in like a well, it was a level five dungeon, but despite being all level four, all decent heroes. All of them kept missing, and so as you can imagine, I got so angry my dick fell off. What were we doing in that room? Because that is the other room where the bed is. Did we just teleport room? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I can also stand on the console. Pretty sure that's not really good for space travel. Oh, it's only this console I can stand on there. Okay, whatever. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of charming, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. It's not exactly great, but it is charming. But again, this is meant to be like a nice, fun project. It's not like it was something that's necessarily serious. Fiddle-dee-dee, fiddle-dee-doo. Fiddle-dee-hee, fiddle-dee-hoo. Hee-hee. You know, that's some really meaningful dialogue. I guess it's like one thing, like... You know, the dialogue is better in this game than it was in the previous one. I just keep seeing these same creatures, and they're all just twats. Oh, and I went the wrong way, good. Alright, jogging along. You know, what if you had a morning jog and it was just this all the time? Like, you try and exercise your little legs because you want to look after your heart and shit. And Buckaroo keeps coming along like, hey, do you want to fight me? And you're just like, no, I want to just look after myself. And Buckaroo's just like, oh, I think you want to fight me. I personally wouldn't like that. But the game seems to think that's an appropriate thing. Okay, picking the ball again. Yes, I would love the Dark Magician, but I'm not allowed it. I don't have a Dark Magician visa or whatever. Huh, Dark Magician is your choice. Huh, you have a choice, I didn't know that. So, Potato, you want the Dark Pokemon, Dark Magician? Yes, I goddamn do, but I don't think I can afford it. It's really energetic. Oh, well, how about that? I guess we actually are playing this game now. We actually are playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokeduel or whatever it is. Rival Gay would like to battle. I forgot I called him Gay. Rival Gay sent out Red Eyes. Wish I had one of those, but that's not gonna fucking happen. Uh, oh, for Pete's sake. So pushy as always. My fucking grandson or whatever just being a fucking little prick trying to summon a dragon in the middle of my fucking lab again. Okay, try battling. Yeah, I'm gonna dark magic attack the fuck out of him. Or tackle Lear. Hmm, I don't know why I was expecting Dark Magic attack. Alright, I guess Dark, Mag <laughs> Dark Magician's signature attack now is Tackle. Right, Pokemon. Can I actually get a Pokeball? I mean, I, I need to actually be careful about who Oh, okay. Hey, you came from Pallet Town? Oh, you're gonna give me free shit? I remember that being a thing in this game. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? Oh, okay. Or I could be his delivery boy. Well, maybe I want to actually have a life of my own. You know, get my own house, get my own wife. Put up the Oaks Parcel and the key items. Alright, I gotta do that shit now. Talk to me. I've got to buy some potions. You never know when your Pokemon will need quick healing. Alright. Do you have anything useful to say, you little brat? She's got those like, little buttons on her head. She looks like a brat. Thank goodness we have antidotes. Alright, I'm just gonna ignore anyone that's inside the building now. And I can't fucking buy anything. Well, great. I love a shop where you can't buy shit. I mean, I thought the whole, object the whole objective of a shop was to buy shit. Oh, it wasn't. It was to be delivery man. Okay, fine. I guess I can be Amazon now. So I can hunt Pokemon. Po or monsters. Whatever they want to be called. I don't know what I want. A Karibo! Oh, I want that! <laughs> oh, please, and it's male! It's got a little furry dick under that fur! Oh, please. Oh. Okay, this should be easy. 
Yeah, defend yourself all you want. I just, I just need a good shot at this. You can't be that hard to just capture. Should I do it one more time? This is a Karibo. I don't want to. Oh, no. I don't want to. Come on. We already, like, went to get two monsters I wasn't that interested in. I mean, it's a Karibo. It's not even that str Where's my Pokeballs? Oh, thank God. I, I did shit my pants there. Please let me have it. I want, I want a Karibo. I might have done it a bit early, but no, you fucker! Ah! All right, I've given him chance to harden his resolve. I, I, I need this Karibo. This Karibo is my friend. Okay, good. Come on, you little Karibo. You have the ability to pound. That sounds good. I want you to evolve into a Curry Babylon or whatever. Please, come on, you got red health. You can do it this time. I wasted one ball on you. Yes! <laughs> I got a fucking Karibo! Right. This twat is also defensive, isn't he? I don't actually know. What does Tail Whip do? Okay, it affects me. That's fine. As long as it doesn't affect my attack, I don't care. Right, keep pounding. No death. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I think I've won this nice and easily. My Karibo will have all this experience to himself, and he shall grow into a big, giant Kar Really? Oh, come on. Like, I know he has, like, 300 attack in the anime. Don't you dare die. If you die, I'll hate you. How the fuck did you get two criticals, you monster? Oh, fuck sake, Karibo. You're better than this. I shouldn't use defense curl. It's my only hope. What fault would that be? Ooh, who are you? <gasps> Celtic God! Oh, you're be you are going in my bag. In there to live. You're going to live in my bag. I don't know how you're going to do that, but I'm going to figure it out. Damn it, I just healed this Karibo. Am I literally going to have to fuck? Damn it, why does everyone get critical attacks in this game? Oh, mm. maybe my Karibo is just super weak. All right, but I uh, seriously, I, I actually do want a, a Celtic Guardian. I love Celtic Guardian. He has the best art of many of the people. Fine. Fine. Beaver Warrior can just hog all the experience to himself. No. Oh, I don't care about Beaver Warrior. Like, a fucking... He lost his Horde of the Unicorn to fucking Tears of a Mermaid. Like, how lame can you get? I mean, he didn't even go past season one, as far as I know. Like, do you know anyone who's a fucking Beaver Warrior fan? Who's anyone, like, anyone who's serious? Like, yeah, Beaver Warrior was my favorite. Beaver Warrior literally saved my dad's life. Like, he was in bed, he was dying of leukemia. Then I put a Beaver Warrior on his fucking lungs and he was fine. I don't think leukemia affects that bit, but fuck it. I am a doctor now, apparently. I also don't remember all these houses in the original game. There is a rare grass type monster in Viridian Forest. I wonder what it could be. Well, you could be literally you could be referring to a fucking beaver warrior for all I know. My daddy loves Pokemon too. Who fucking doesn't in this world? I mean no one plays fucking hockey or anything, it's just all about them Pokemon. This is gonna be a long winding walk. I Oh! It's a jelly bean! I'm <laughs> Yes! Oh now I'm determined to play the game properly. Okay. Okay, this this actually feels like a, a an even match. There's a Jerry Bean in the game. I, is this the rare monster we were all talking about? I mean, I'm I'm surprised that I found a wild Jerry Bean so easy. This this will basically complete my roster. I mean, yes, admittedly, like you know, some of them don't deserve to be in my roster. I don't like Beaver Warrior, and, well, Karibo's not that strong, but I love it. I, I love Karibo. Karibo gets a free pass. Blow you, blow me all you want, you fucking Jerry Bean. Oh, God, okay. Don't you dare. Game, if ever, if ever I told you not to critical, do not critical now. Please. Oh, yes, I'm going to put you in my fucking ball or card or whatever it is and sell you to a fucking sweet shop at this rate. Please! 
Oh, please! I don't have the comfiest ball! Yes! Oh, I've got a fucking jerry bean! They're probably like... This, these are probably very common, aren't they? <laughs> Alright, just whacking a worm for the sake of it. That sounds like a sexual pseudonym, but I assure you I'm just trying to pound my worm. <laughs> wow! Mr. Charles, how do you do it? How do you come up with such dirty, wicked humour? I don't know, and personally I'm a bit ashamed of it. Yep, slow me down all you want. I mean, you're not even that fast of a one as you're a fucking worm. Yep. How am I struggling against this worm, even though I have a fucking sword in my hand? This is like having a fucking gun and struggling to shoot through a piece of paper. Just doesn't really sound appropriate. Sounds like I should be devouring this worm and cooking it for dinner. I mean, it sounds nice if you're in Vietnam. How's it going, Mr. Mates? This is Miss Charles. And we're back with Beyblade Super Tournament Battle. I believe it's called that. STB. It's not STD because that would just sound bad for kids. I should be out for the count. Nah, well. But I didn't. Okay, so I only lost one. But that's fine. Look. I think the thing with my Beyblade is I want to break other Beyblades. But I've actually got to remember how to launch. So is it like I just press X at the... Okay, there we go. Right, now I know how to play the game. Yeah, I'm going to destroy you now. Not compared to me. Oh, jeez, it's too pa It's too much! Oh, God. Oh, no. What's happening? Literally, my Beyblade's out of control. No. It... Losing spell. I've got too much. I can't control it. It's too aggressive. Look how crazy my Beyblade is going. It's literally on steroids. I pumped steroids into my Beyblade. Okay, I got a moment to breathe. And now I. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that was much easier. <laughs> and now he's got literally no health whatsoever, so. Fuck you, I guess. I'm gonna wreck your Beyblade, mate. You're gonna have to take it to, like, a hospital, put it in a little hospital bed. Yeah, I just murdered your Beyblade in cold Beyblade pieces. I was gonna say cold blood, but well, a Beyblade doesn't have that. I'm hard to beat. Yeah, until we go get someone who's actually good at the game. Which... You should always play to win. Well, that's what I did. What did you want me to? What is that meant to mean? God, I don't want to use the animation because I'm so into like trying to keep it into the stadium. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Fuck's sake! I don't know. Is it the, only like one round left? Oh fuck! No, I might lose this. I don't want to lose this. His Beyblade's actually well put together as well, so I'm actually gonna struggle a bit. Yeah, I don't care. No. No! Shit! Fuck! It, it's so hard to control. It's like controlling a fucking child. It's like trying to get your two-year-old to do some math homework, but they're too dumb to do it. Oh, uh, stop, because then I lose my focus. I don't care about your gay tortoise. What the fuck happened? I disappeared. I literally didn't want to exist anymore. Fuck. That was a nice battle. No, it wasn't. You destroyed me. How's it going, Mr. Mates? This is Miss Charles. We're back. With Beyblade Super Tournament Battle. It's a super tournament. Like a super man. It's only weakness is kryptonite. But other than that, it can do all your shit. It can save your city, do your laundry, fuck your mum. Thank you. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Okay, I don't care. Just repair my Beyblade. Again, I'm making decent money. Um, I've been doing that a lot lately despite... Oh, no. Right, well previously I had to deal with Max, and i got to admit, I'm a bit sore about the battle I had with him, but I don't think I'm going to be able to beat him somehow. But, that's fine. We're going to see if this is going to be possible. I don't think it is going to be, though. Because I, I think he's too strong for me. I don't think I have, like, the right things to balance shit out. Oh, but I want to beat him so- He's level 6, how do you do that? 
Well, I suppose he played the game like me, but <laughs> fuck's sake, how did I finally get to his level when he fucking advances? God, I wish I was at least a different stadium. Right, the only way I can beat Max, oh, is if I can destruct. I, I can't control my Beyblade. And I think he's stronger than me, to be honest. If I could kick him out, fine, but like, I don't think I, I need to nail him. I need to last in this fucking stadium and I, I can't I can't I can't he's destroyed my fucking spin yes okay I've got one okay I know this happened last time but I can do this I just need I just need him to do that again oh come on I want to beat one of the main four that would make me so happy even if it's basically the worst one of the main four I think well yeah, I think. I think? Yeah, because there's Ray, Tyson, Kai, and Max. There's technically the Chief, but he's not a player. He's just a fucking smart nerd who's fucking gay. This match is fucking gay. Oh, come on, please. I don't know. Come on. Oh. Oh, I need to push you out of my fucking life. I need to push you out like a mum pushes out a baby from a butthole. Oh, you were nearly there. No, stop. I don't want you to have 9,999 spin. 9,999 reasons you should die. Come on. Come on. Don't, no. No. Yes. No. Maybe. God. He's, he's destroying my spin. I, I don't know how he's reversing me this much, if I'm honest. What just happened there? I'm nearly dead. Okay, I don't actually... Yes! I fucking fucked him up the fucking anus! <laughs> well, someone's gonna have to eat fucking soup for the rest of their life because I just destroyed your digestive system. Don't know what that, <laughs> that's meant to mean, but oh my god. I feel drunk on power right now and I like it. I can't believe I lost. I can't believe you lost. I should have lost that. Oh, wow. That was hard. Yeah, we will. Yeah, many famous Beybladers. Everyone knows their names. All right, who am I up against? Because I, I don't think I want to think about it, but I'll do it. Shit, I'm against my favorite character. This is going to be a challenge. But it's either this guy's the best or Tyson is the best. And I don't like my odds, if I'm honest. Even with an improved Beyblade, I don't like my odds. But if I beat him, I'm going to be quite shocked. Oh, God, he's two levels above me. Oh, really? Really? I'll never be done with my final adjustments. This guy's going to destroy me. Look at his yellow background. Oh, I'll, I'll see what he says when he launches. Oh, okay. He goes, go. I am literally... I'm, there's no way I can win this. Oh god. Ah. I don't care. I'm surprised our health is the same at the moment, to be honest. I said at the moment. Eat it. This is going to be tight. Either that, or I'll push him out. No, go away. I mean, how do you even afford more health like that? Or oh, more spin them. Push him, push him out, push him to the limit. Wreck his tiny grey head butthole. Oh, okay, so I have I have literally wrecked his Beyblade. Oh, I think Drons a Wait, he's got rid of my Oh my spin was dying. I was kind of concerned about that. Okay, minor setback. I'm not doing bad to be honest. But I'm gonna need to hold my own in this match. Oh, okay, this could go either way. Not really, the match just started, mate. <laughs> I'm really nervous about this. I really want to win it. No, no. Oh, he's only got 54. We can do this. Oh, oh literally. Oh, just push him out. I'm too nervous about this. If I push him out, I'll win. Mm -mm -mm. No! He had 17! No! Oh, God. That's 
less. That's the number below the number of fingers and toes I have on my body. Just killing time. <sighs> if I won one like round, I'd have enough time to like just get rid of him. And he's level seven, so I could. I just wish I could control. If I was in a different stadium, he wouldn't stand a chance. Right, I need to time it. What was that? My Beyblade literally just wanted to go to space. Fuck's sake, that didn't even last that long this time. My victory. Oh, oh I can't hate him. He's so badass. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. Oh, oh, there's actually a chance. I could do this. Oh, but there's 120 health. Oh, that sucks so much. If I, fuck's sake, why do I get it now? Oh, come on, no, I could win this this time. No, he might already push me. He's only got 94 health. I could do this. I could win this. You just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just think about what, what you could do for my family of bait. <gasps> yes! I didn't even destroy him. He just fucked off. He went to fucking Australia or New Zealand or some shit, and now he's not fucking coming back. That that was literally <laughs> that was literally a mind fuck. I almost stepped away until I realized what she truly meant. Why are you afraid of that? Do I have to say why? It was because her dad left, wasn't it? What do we remind her of her dad with our, with our huge tits and like not being able to put on a shirt properly? Yeah, that would remind me of my dad. <laughs> I hope my dad's not watching now. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird thing to link Himika to. Continuing to play, Kiku closed her eyes. She looked like she was in a trance, letting the music flow from her. As soon as the music stopped, however, she went back to looking like a kid in her big sister's clothes. She smiled at me. I gotta admit, I really do like that pose though. I don't know if this is a natural pose. Well, actually, is it? no, it's the other arms, isn't it? Th that doesn't seem natural to me. But she makes it look natural. I should play the game like this now. How was it? You're really cool when you play music. Sorry. <laughs> Again, I don't know how she does it, but she's doing fucking good with her hand there. K Kiku grinned, playing with her hair, with her fucking fork hand. Okay, cool. Anyway, that will probably be all for today. I need to make sure everything is in order before I go. I'll get out of your way then. Alright, bye. Leaving the club room, I thought of the sight of Kiku in her trance. I might need to see her play again. Oh, really? Maybe I can show her two other instruments. Ha! <laughs> two bongo drums. And I mean actually by my tits, not, not actual bongo drums, you know. That must be a way lesbians get some pleasure. Fucking use, the <laughs> use their boobies as drums. <laughs> what the fuck? Nanami looked away, biting her lip. I don't know how to say this. She looked really worried. Is there something wrong? No, it's just... Oh. Right, okay. I was under the impression that... I could ask her, and if I didn't ask her to date me, I'd be comforting her in some way. I... Oh, no. If I say no... Does that mean she's gonna... We're gonna have... I, mean, I know it's just a fucking game, but I didn't expect this. Will you go out with me? I can bait you treats like this all the time. I nearly coughed on the last of my seed cake when she blurted that out. Oh god, no! Fuck! 
Why is this the fucking time? If it was anyone else, if it was Shiro, I'd be like, yeah, fine, I don't think of you like that. If it was Azumi, I was like, yeah, well, you fucking call me tall all the time. If it was fucking... Well, I would never have done it with my little grey-haired girl, which I've forgotten the name of, because I'm actually kind of stressed right now. Any of the other girls, I, I could have done it, but Nanami, who's a nice girl, who admittedly, like, looks lovely, wears nice clothes and has got beautiful hair, like... I don't see her that way, but I don't want to be a 12-inch cock. Oh, God, why? <sighs> I don't want to be dragged down this tunnel. I'm sorry. I really don't. Because... Honestly, if she really is that, like, not, de I suppose desperate's the wrong word here, but if she's that, she's that anxious to try and get me with her, I, I just, I wouldn't be happy. Oh, look, I know, I know this is just a game, but look, I, I don't want to, I just don't want to date someone that needy. I don't see her that way. Sorry, I don't really see you that way. Oh, Nanami nodded slowly with a heartbreaking frown on her face. But we can still be friends. I like trying these things you've made. I wasn't sure if that would salvage anything, but Nanami actually... Oh, thank God for that. Leader? So you are a leader, but you're just not a gym leader. Okay, that makes no sense, but okay. I love that drawing of him. Swamp Beetle. Oh, Swamp Battle card. I thought, okay, fine, whatever. This should be good. Not really one of your iconic monsters. Actually, this was the monster that beat you, but fuck it. Guess I can at least try and stun the enemy. Oh, and of course I can miss. Great start. Oh, and now I'm going to lose my accuracy. So in other words, this whole fucking match is going to be a piss take. Good. Great. I like not being able to see. This this always happens. You didn't even technically need to do a fucking sand attack at me because I can't attack anything anyway. It's not like Jerry Bean's even that strong, even if he does get hit in. Although it's quite interesting to see that that didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Okay, this is gonna <laughs> this is gonna be slow. Why do my attacks have to miss sometimes? Why do you have to stand and attack me? Literally, I've already got like a, a fucking beach in my eyes. You don't need to keep doing. Stop! Oh, and again, again, I paralyze the enemy, but none of the other. But if I get paralyzed, of course I'm not gonna be able to fucking move for jack shit. Oh, let's give him some health. Oh, oh, all right, okay. So grass beats ground. I, I should have really figured that, to be honest. Cool, okay, so I might be able to win this quite easily. If, you know, this game can be fair for a second. Okay, so... The lack of accuracy seems to not be affecting me too much. I think the main thing that's annoying me right now is just the fact that paralysis isn't doing anything. Like, you're paralysed! If you, if I describe someone as paralysed, that means they wouldn't be able to walk. It doesn't mean, oh, sometimes you can walk, sometimes you can't, and more often you can. Oh, come on, please. Please, just give me a tackle. Uh, give me a... Just just you, just you make the stun work. I'll absorb the last of hell. Oh, and of course, I'm not going to do it. He's fucking paralyzed. This is actually... Is this game sound hard or something? I swear, if I lose this... If I lose this, I'll be pissed off. Are you for fucking real? Okay, well, still, I, I'm in f fucking pissed off right now. Okay, so I won, which is great. Surprise, Joe Bean was actually kind of useful. Paralysis did nothing. Absolutely nothing. And that's stupid. Like, if it was a player player match, then it would do something. But no. Okay, well, at least I actually got more than two this time. I don't care if I don't kill... Oh, I did. Cool. And I'll get a level up for this, because I'm close enough. Hooray! 
I'm surprised I'm clearing this guy so easy, to be honest. I would have thought be I would have thought I'd use my Dark Magician by now. Hooray! Good. Now I'm even stronger than ever. I'm level 10, goddammit. Okay, he's gonna get out Urubi. I'm surprised he didn't get two-headed King Rex. I was sort of that as his iconic monster. But that's fine. Let's see how strong Urubi is. Oh, he looks like he's having fun. Okay, well again, this should be relatively easy, and I'm dead. Well, that's fine. I didn't need any life in my veins anyway. We're actually quite evenly matched, despite our... Well, actually, no, I think he... No, he... <laughs> we're not evenly matched. He's fucking me over with his big dragon dick. I suppose I could stun him. Which, no, I think I might do that. See if that does something for me. Maybe I'll just stun him every turn. Maybe for once I'll be lucky against this guy. Yep, Red Ice can't move, or can he? Really, I think he can. I think this next move is going to be his. Yep, not I'm not surprised. Mm. That was satisfying to do. Alright, maybe I can kill you with a petty moth. I don't expect to, by all means, but you know what? I I'm in the mood for a good time. Oh, wow, okay, critical hit. I didn't know Caterpillar did critical hits. Oh, please, if this if this keeps up... Okay, I, I could win with my Caterpillar. It might take some time. Don't miss, come on. How can you miss? There's a fucking huge dragon in front of you. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Just wanted to win with my fucking Caterpillar. One day that Caterpillar would be useful to me. Right, where the feck do I go now? Where's the way out? Where's a where's a decent like walk I can go down? Right, so the guy that normally stopped coming through here, I think, is gone now. Who are you? Oh, hello. Oh, potato. I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. You certainly got here quicker than I did. I've been asked to deliver this. Here you go. Received the running shoes. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I was so bored. I was so goddamn bored of walking like a fucking weird snail without a shell. You ever read Uzumaki the manga? And everyone turns into fucking snails and they eat the fucking people that turn into snails and they turn into snails themselves. That's how I felt playing this game. And now I don't have to think about that ever again. I'm not going to turn to a snail and eat someone that's turned into a snail. Press the B button to run, but only where there's room to run. Well, I must be going back to the lab. Bye-bye. I will literally have your child. Cool. That's fine. Do I get a new attack? I didn't need one anyway. Dark Magician Girl. Where did you get one of those? Nah, I'm alright. This is going to be fun, isn't it? <laughs> Please don't tell me you have Pursuit, because I might struggle against that. Oh, wow, that actually did it. Wow, why did that do so much damage? So you're saying Dark Magician Girl is weak to darkness? Okay. That's like a wolf that doesn't like other wolves. It just sounds like weird. I mean, they're pack animals. Wow, Dark Magician Girl doesn't have a nice faint noise, does she? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad she was about. No, oh, I didn't level up, though. Hooray! Hey, Taya, or at least Taya's head. Yugi! Potato got money. What the fuck happened there? Yugi's, Yugi's nowhere to be seen, so I don't know what the fuck you're on about. Alright, what have you got now? Yep, give me, you're gonna give me a, oh, a cocoon of evolution! Finally! I was wondering who'd actually have one. What level is it? Buck out style, cocoon of evolution. Wow! That looks like a pink piece of shit. <laughs> oh my god! It actually looks like a piece of feces that's just gone horribly wrong. Maybe it's like a really bad embryo. Maybe it's like someone's bladder that's just wrinkled up. Or whatever it is, it does not look insectoid. Please no. Oh, double please no. I could open... No, I've already done that, haven't I? No, wait, there's two ways to go. Oh, fucking... Oh, Lord. No, there's so many of them. Please, no. Aim for the one I want you to aim for. 
Oh, this is horrible. No, no, no. Jump to your death. Oh, maybe I can just run through. Maybe that door's open. No, is it not open? Did... Oh my god, these guys are stupid. Fuck off. All of you, stop. This isn't a party for demons. I don't want to cut the demon birthday cake. Good, all of you go to hell. Well, I guess even I had to go to hell. Good, great. I didn't want to live anyway. What's the real benefit? You know, if I eat my couch, I can see in the dark. What's my heart meant to do for me? I was dumb. I didn't even get what killed me. How do we both die at the same time? Okay, well, I'm definitely going to die at some point. There's no way I could make that jump. I don't think so, but I'll fucking risk it. Wee! Oh, well, I made it, but that was a demon. Then, Oh, he's going to be right. He's going to push me off. I have a 0% chance of survival. Where are you, little batshit bat? You batshit crazy bat? No. I'm waiting for you to take everything from me like you always do. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Well done. Beelzebub's proud of you, you fucking retarded bat. You know what? Laura looks so lifelike when she's burning alive. I never really noted that before, but... Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, fine. So the thing's timed. I didn't realise that. That's slightly worrisome, but... Not, not, not an impossible task by any means. Just a seriously fucking frustrating one. And I can't just, like, you know, climb up a bit higher. Or, you know, be a bit more realistic about the situation. I've got to actually run for it. That is going to be very frustrating. But let's see how this goes. Alright, no. I can't even get Laura to aim. Aim at the... Don't. Just fucking aim for it, you stupid hoe. I love you, Laura, but you literally are a bit of a weirdo. There we go. Right, so I know what's happening now. I can just fucking go for it. And I hope I'm going to be fast enough for this, because I am, by nature, a slow little tortoise. Laura! Oh my god. Oh my god, just stop. Laura. Okay, fine. So we're already off to a bad start. But this is the first time, so I'm not going to be a, a complete gay asshole about it. Jump up there. No, don't run. Jump, you fool. Right, jump there. Where's that going to lead me? Okay, fine. Jump again. Jump for my life. Run. Run, Laura. Oh. Do I actually have, like, a ton of time left? Huh. Okay, I feel good about myself then, to be honest. But I'm not going through that again, because that was just stressy. Well, I guess I can try and pull my lever with here. Try my luck. Okay, but you're going to lock me in. I'm not going to be able to get out, am I? There's going to be no, like, bit where I can just stop. Oh, there is. Okay. Well, I don't know why I panicked over nothing there, then. But I really should try a new Tomb Raider game. Why do you why do you want me to shit myself so bad? Because No! How could I do that? Oh come on! All I did was just slightly mispress a button. Oh now where am I gonna be? I've messed up my glasses as well. I've got dust on them. I'm literally dissolving right in front of myself and I just tack my microphone with my dust. Alright, cool. So, alright, maybe we should just stop talking about the past then. I'm sorry, I was enjoying the game and just thinking, oh, you know what, this was a good game, but other ones were good. Fine, let's talk about... I don't know. Getting through this alive? I don't know, I just remember trying to play a Tomb Raider game and getting so stuck I didn't understand it. Tomb Raider seems to me a very adult game. Right, yep, scare the shit out of me, but I expected it this time. Right. It's very hard to see when you got to think trying to attack you like that. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no! You monster! I heard the wings of death and they came for me! Oh, fuck! I should have jumped for it, but I, I didn't anticipate that demon. God fucking damn it. That li Literally, that lava is on a Laura Croft diet right now. Oh, look, here's the next helping. I wonder how this bitch is gonna die. Go here. Now I can save here, and then we can just deal with anything that comes my way, because I don't want to deal with dying again. 
I'm going to do that. Pick this up quickly. And I can quickly just jump to the other side. Sit down at my table. No! Oh my god! Put your mind at ease. If you relax, you'll enable me to do anything I please. I can read your future and you're fucking drowning in lava. I look deep into your soul and all there is is fire. Sorry, I tried to mess up Dr. Facilier there, but... It's a good song. If Disney copyrights me, it's worth it. Alright, I know there's growls and stuff, but I can at least try and just make my way through here. So... I hope that's not like a time device and it's gonna, like, piss me off. Can I go up there? No, I'm not surprised. Can I run and jump up there? Still not surprised, but I was hoping for the best. Okay, clearly I've got to cross over to the other side. I've already sung Dr. Facilia's friend on the other side, so I can't really sing it again. Go down here. Down here. I do not know how much more of that I can handle. But I am reaching my limit here. This rare, I might even start drinking coffee whilst I'm videoing. And that's something I consider a heresy. I wonder if that switch summoned a demon. I mean, everything else does these... Oh, okay. Cool. Jumping puzzles at their finest. There is no way I'm going to make that. But you know what? I'm so used to seeing Laura dying now. I don't think I even mind if she dies. Go on, yep, yeah, run, jump, good foot, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, what, oh. <sighs> Problem is, right, when you die in a Laura Croft game in the same area again and again, it gets annoying. Not so much the fact that you die, although, you know, um, that is my main issue. It's more the fact that when you die in the same manner again and again, and you just get frustrated. Again, I had the same thing with Mr. Avalon, where I, I turned to an angel or some shit if I if I stepped on lava. And I didn't like that for a set that's too far. I've overdone it. How many times have I seen this death animation? I don't like it. I don't want it in my life. But it forces its way in. Like a little brother you didn't want. You know the one that's just like, oh, can I play with you? And you're like, just let me do my own fucking thing. I've come back from school and I literally cannot be arsed with you. Just let me calm down and do my thing. And then he's like, oh, so Call of Duty then. And then you literally throw him out the window and you get arrested. That's what the playing this game feels like sometimes. All right, cool. That wasn't too far. I don't know why there's a little ledge down there, because that's not going to do much good. I'm sure I can just jump in there. Oh, I can't. Well, you know what? At least that little ledge saved me, no matter what I say. Cool, go up here, and then move on to the next bit. And it's, gonna be a, it's like little puzzle after little puzzle. It's just endless hors d'oeuvres of puzzles in this game now. I worked hard for those skions. And what was my reward? It, actually, it was the confiscation of my shotgun. That was my reward. Alright, fine. So going through here. Try not to bump my head on the way. Whoopsie doopsie. Through another intest- No, I don't care about any of you. Oh, they're really trying to stop me. This is the end of the level. It must be. You literally did not just do that. I bet you anything that is the end of the level. And the game's just stopping me now. The game doesn't even want me to have a good time. The game's just like, oh, the end of the level, that, that, that. <laughs> no, there's no such thing. I think you're imagining that NASA was a thing in 1969. When, you know, we launched a fucking rocket to the moon. I think that was just, maybe it's make-believe. God, please be the end of the level. I can't, wait, what was that? On the right, what is that? All right, don't get involved with me. You know what? You don't want me to do that shit. You don't want me to fucking, you know, see the secrets of the game. You don't want me to have one. Fine, fuck off. Or fucking use you. Fuck off, fucking die. I don't care about the ammo. I finally find something that's like a secret of the game. It's like, maybe not. If it's a time trial, I can fuck off. What like, timed bullshit.